Warning! The following production has content that may be offensive to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. The sun sets over the wooded trees. The wind blows with the sounds of information lost long ago. The city is alive with those who are nothing but drones on a computer. Never knowing what is real, what isn't real, and what could not be real even if it wasn't not real. Welcome to Oak Ridge. Hello listeners. To begin tonight's broadcast, I have been instructed to read this notice. The City Council has announced the opening of a new dog park on Illinois Avenue, but quickly after the press release, the plans for the dog park mysteriously vanished and replaced with plans to build one of four things, a new bank, a new church a new hotel, or a seventh subway. It is possible that you may see hooded figures at these locations. Do not approach them, as they may be members of the various cults that inhabit Oak Ridge. Do not look at the hooded figures, do not feed the hooded figures food from the new subway. The new subway will not harm you. And now the news. Old woman Jane said the angels revealed themselves to her. They were ten feet tall, radiant, and one of them was black. Although, considering that nearly 75% of Oak Ridge's population does some form of illegal drugs, skepticism is high. A new man came into town today. Who is he? What does he want from us? These are questions that cannot be answered, since this man was run out of town due to the Hispanic tone of skin. The man's perfect jaw and godlike complexion was the cause of outrage as many of the male population gawked at the perfection this man displayed and due to the homophobic tendencies of the town, the men were then exiled from the various 26 churches that scatter Oak Ridge's city limits. The welcoming arms of Big Ed's Pizza embraced the men as they came to drink away their problems and have a slice of Big Ed's famous pizza. No one does a slice like Big Ed's. No one. Just a reminder to all the parents out there, let's talk about safety when you take your children to the septic tank parks and nuclear dump soccer fields. You need to give them plenty of liquids, make sure there is some form of shade, and keep an eye for any mysterious, unmarked vans that may patrol. Are the unmarked vans black? That's the Oak Ridge Police Department's pitiful idea of undercover surveillance. Are the unmarked vans pink? That's the Razzleberry's Ice Cream Lab and Kitchen Delivery and Advertisement van. They patrol the town and give a big smile to anyone they see. Are the unmarked vans white? Possibly marked on the sides with various images of ice cream and other forms of attraction aimed at small children. No one knows where those vans came from, certainly not from an official ice cream truck deployment station. Do not play in the area, return to your home and lock the door, and wait until the following morning to leave the house, because let's be honest. No one plays outside in Oak Ridge anyway. 
A commercial airline accidentally flew through Oak Ridge's restricted airspace today, only to be escorted by seven of the Oak Ridge's secret police emergency response jets, away from civilian eyes. There is no word yet on if, or how, it will affect Oak Ridge's wildcat football game schedule, or if it could be the work of their bitter rival. The Clinton Dragons. Clinton is always trying to show us up with fancier uniforms, fancier halftime laser shows, and possibly sending commercial airlines into our airspace, only to be escorted away by the Oak Ridge's secret police emergency response jets, distracting football practice. For shame Clinton Dragons. For shame. We received a press release this morning. The Oak Ridge Business Association is proud to announce the opening of the brand new go-kart fun center and putt-putt course. I have been to these facilities recently myself, and I can tell you it is absolutely top of the line and beautiful. Polished stone lines the raceways and neat and tidy lawns of real grass cover the putt-putt course. It is a shame however, that due to the go-kart fun center and putt-putt course's location, the go-kart fun center and putt-putt course will soon become the local hangout where public teenagers will join together as one and collectively light up as many blunts as they can triggering families to visit less and less, and causing it to spiral uncontrollably towards bankruptcy. The local Right to Bear Arms Association is selling bumper stickers, and they sent the station one to get some publicity, and we're here to serve the community, so I'm happy to let you all know about it. The stickers are made of good sturdy vinyl, and read, Guns don't kill people. Republicans kill people. Stand outside your door and fire your semi-automatic towards the sky to order one. A great howling came from the Oak Ridge Post Office yesterday. Postal workers claim no knowledge. But several passers-by describe the sound to be similar to a human soul being destroyed by black magic. Upon closer examination, the true cause of the abnormal sounds coming from within the post office really is human souls being destroyed by black magic as they wait in line, hours upon hours for postal workers to ever so slowly fill out destination forms to send out packages across the globe. The Indian Tracker Now I don't know if you have seen this guy around, but he is the one who appears to be full-blooded Cherokee. But in fact is only one sixteenth Cherokee and with a nice tan but who still insists on being called a full-blooded Cherokee Indian tracker while rejecting claims that what he is attempting to do is completely racist. Which is a little hypocritical since those who are complaining of this man's racism recently banished the beautiful and handsome Hispanic man earlier this morning. Anyway, going back to the story, the racist Indian tracker gave a statement that he was fed up with FedEx and swore he would discover the truth to the postal office's inability to do their job. He was also seen wearing a fedora. Lights, seen above the sky above the Arby's. Not the glowing sign of Arby's but something a little beyond that. Oh, we can see it clearly now. It's the sign of Popeye's chicken. And beyond that is the sign for the Shoney's that vividly displays their advertisement for 11 p.m. breakfast buffet. Traffic Time Listeners 
Now, police have issued warnings of increased awareness in speeding along the Oak Ridge Turnpike and have threatened anyone going over 10 miles per hour that they will be arrested for drunk driving, possession of marijuana, and resisting arrest. It might seem like a hard punishment for anyone who is in a hurry, but if anyone is more in a hurry than the police who drive 25 miles per hour down the turnpike and who publicly speed through red traffic lights just to get the half-priced coffee at Starbucks, well, then obviously you deserve to be arrested. And now, the weather. The City Council would like to remind you about the tiered heavens and the hierarchy of angels. There are none, City Council claims, there are no such things as angels and you are a fool for thinking so. Now if you excuse me, City Council continues, I am late for my son's baptism and public picketing of the Unitarian Church for believing that the homosexual community is equally accepted in God's eyes than myself, a rich and influential white politician. The Oak Ridge Public Safety and Environment Chairman was in the studio earlier today but didn't stay long enough for an interview. The chairman simply stated that he was out to pick up women out by the parking lot, 
but had to leave once his phone started ringing violently, as his wife, who had driven by just a few minutes prior, saw him trying to woo another woman with sexist remarks and abusive compliments. When he passed by the microphone his phone sounded like, well, the roaring pits of hell that was soon to engulf him and his marriage. The chairman looked nervous, I've never seen that kind of look on someone who is in that seat of power. The chairman left the building, threatening me not to tell anyone about what just occurred, but then, what kind of news reporter would I be if I abided by political threats and bribes? I'm sure that some news reporters out there do take political threats and bribes. But those news stations must be as sly as a fox in order to get by with such scandals. Starting to be yet another smoggy night here at Oak Ridge. I hope all of you, out there, have someone pleasant to sleep next to. Or at least, good memories of doing so. Good night, listeners. Good night. Welcome to Night Vale is produced by Commonplace Books, written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner, and is produced by Joseph Fink. I, myself, am not either one of these two. This has been a parody of Welcome to Night Vale, written in a style directed towards the East Tennessee town of Oak Ridge, where I spent the majority of my childhood growing up. Any similarities between characters and residents of Oak Ridge are coincidental and were not intended to be. Any political similarities between characters in Welcome to Oak Ridge and official political representatives are coincidental and were not intended to be. We apologize if we offended anyone during this broadcast. We hope you enjoyed the presentation, and we wish for you to leave a rating and perhaps subscribe to our YouTube channel for more creative videos.